It's gotta be another way. I don't want to just think about Monica. Okay. <laughs> Just Monica. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna regret this. Great. <laughs> Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ooh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing of something terrible is about to happen. Look, we can just get this done. I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking... I want to make cupcakes! Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... <coughs> well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica... I'm not useless, you know. Uh, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Dirk Softpeck? Dirk Softpeck is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry. But that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? Uh, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already more suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Dirk Softpack around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey! I didn't even do anything! Okay, then why not let Dirk so Softpack decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Dirk Softpack make a choice, okay? Okay. Fine. Fine. Jeez. Dirk Softpack, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. Yeah, 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 freaking... <laughs> you shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is never going to end. Just make a choice, okay? Look like at the mouse for a second. Why are you fidgeting so much? Okay. What's, what's happening, Newman? No! I don't want to choose Monica! <laughs> no! Like the whole Monica Lewinsky in this whole thing. Do we need to get you a cigar, Newman? Just make your choice, dude. Who's it gonna be? Yay! Wow. You picked me! <laughs> we can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. It's Sunday. Okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. 
giving us all this work and then taking Dirk's soft pants for yourself? <coughs> Ladies, have you seen how big I am? There's enough of me to go around to each of every one of you. Mm. Yes, we'll divide him like cupcakes. Oh, God. I regret that. <laughs> What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I don't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. Ha 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 Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Dirk's soft peck away from Those every single time. Not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. If you consider killing yourself, it would be beneficial for your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. Uh, See? That wasn't so very hard. Well, I want to spend a little time uh, with him. I no longer want to spend any time with you. Is that so much to ask? Yes, it's a lot to ask right now. Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Dirk Softpack. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out of the door. Finally. I, Finally. I don't want... This is really all I wanted. <sighs> Dirk Softpack. There's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. I'm freaking terrified. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is the far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. If there was any signs to walk away from any type of relationship, this would be a big sign. Remember, if your girlfriend turns out to be really super crazy and... Yeah. I'm addicted to Oh, you. yeah. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Man. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? Uh, to have man. someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? Mm -hmm. But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Something probably is going to happen. Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Dirk Softpeck. Oh god. I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. <gasps> it feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. What? She has been listening to a lot of things. She seems to know things. Please, Dirk Softpack. <coughs> just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even no. touched myself no. with the pen I stole no. from you. I just want to pull you your skin open and crawl inside. No. <laughs> you are freaking me out. I want you all to myself. And I will... Be only yours. Doesn't it sound perfect? Tell me, Dirk Softback. Tell me you want me to be your lover. Uh, mm. Do you accept my confession? Nope. Mm, what if I happens if I say yes? But nope. Oh god. Oh, well, that just happened. What did you do to her? No, look! 
life was even in my hands. Why didn't you accept her confession? Yeah. No, definitely not being with some of that crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Non stop gasping for air. Okay, I realize you're dying and gasping for air, but can you please just die now? <laughs> That's a little dark there, Newman. Wow. I don't believe that's actually her talking. Plus, she's kind of got that dead look in her eye, like there isn't really anything left there. Meh. Skip it. Oh, that's a long way. Okay. Monday, Monday. La, 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 la. Uh, mm. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? Uh, look on the floor. I thought it was pretty... Ah! Ah! Yeah. Yep. I stayed in this... I just stayed in this room the entire weekend. Natsuki runs away. Ellipses. I'm here. Dirk Softpeck, did something happen? I mean, like, look at the amount of blood that's on the floor. Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Ellipses. <laughs> Think this is funny? Well, that's a shame. It's a shame? Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Dirk Softpeck? Uh, yes. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was that badly broken. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. No! Bad. Bad. Almost done. Both de deleted both of them? I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one, since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, 
before they stopped existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Yeah, you... Ellipses. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, there you are. Oh, man. Hi again, Dirk Softpeck. Hey, Princess of Darkness. Uh, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other, because we were in the same class yes last year, and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over all that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person am I, anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you call, want to call him. I'm talking to you, Dirk Softpeck. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're actually a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know that I'm aware this is all a game, right? Could it be possible you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right in the game's download page, didn't I? I have to skip those parts. Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this wouldn't have been a bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. Yeah. About the whole thing with Yuri. Uh, yeah? Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I just drove her to kill herself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try and make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them all fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you into spending more time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Dirk Softpeck? Are all the other girls just programming to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Dirk Softpeck. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't want fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing that's really out there, in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Dirk Softpeck. But now you're here. Do me a favor. You're real. Hit the save button. Oh, great. You should probably return. You're real. And you're wonderful. Oh, my God, I'm dying. You're all I need. Stop reading. <laughs> well, stop I'm in the sneezing. middle of, like, fucking sneezing myself to death, and you're still reading. 
<laughs> That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if that's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why in the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Oh, you're one of those flat earthers, huh? <laughs> Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. If it wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood, you probably saved my life, Dirk Softpeck. I don't think I could have continued to live in a world if I hadn't met you. As for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything and couldn't prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into the game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. Yeah, me too. But I realized that you had the same perspective that I do. That is, it's all just a game. And I knew you would get over it. So, that being said, Dirk Softpeck, I have to confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light of my world. Mm. That makes it really feel really bad if I just have to push a button to end your existence. When there's nothing else in the game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Nope. Dirk Softpeck, will you go out with me? Nope. Oh god, there's only one choice. <laughs> you can try clicking around other places. You know, if you think that would help. You guys are assholes. <laughs> I'm sitting there fucking like sneezing my heart out and you just keep going and going. I know. Like it's not horribly making it difficult for anybody to hear. I wonder if that would just like be pre-scripted. <laughs> I mean, you could try. <laughs> there. I finished her off. Or did you? No. Oh. <laughs> Have you tried loading? You're just fucking things up. Yeah. Alright, I'll push yes now. I'll stop trying to mess with the game. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Dirk Softpeck. The funny part is, I mean, that literally. Ha 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 There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Dirk Softpeck. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't even think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki. Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. That kind of freaked me out, how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it actually is a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find browse local files button. local file button. 
Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Monica, 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 Monica. Hi again, Dirk Softpeck. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, Dirk Softpeck. Did you write this poem for me? <laughs> That's so sweet of you. There's really no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know... The poem I wrote is also I don't want to read your poem. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world infinite choices, behold the special day. After all, after all, not all good times must come to an end. <coughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all of my heart into the poems I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to had an epiphany. break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I knew it! I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like it would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything more. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Dirk Softpeck? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone! Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend that's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? Sorry. <laughs> oh, you two are in trouble. Yeah, might be just a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure some people don't mind. <clears throat> but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Oh, it's alright, boo. Let's You're fine. see. Do you want to see a trick? I don't know if I want to see a trick. I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Oh, God. Are you ready? No. Oh, good. She can just zoom in. Just kidding. I can't do anything after all. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Did it scare you? <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Anyway, Dirk Softpeck. I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. 
even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. Just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. This is the eternity with Monica. Just Monica. Time to get into those properties and delete her. What? What? You're mean. But she's best girl. <laughs> you see how hard she worked to be like this with you forever? Uh, and you want to delete her? Yep. She's the only real person in the game. Oh. And she loves you. Hey, are you having a bad day or something like that? Sometimes I get frustrated that a normal day can be ruined even by really small things. Like if you accidentally say <coughs> something in a conversation that somebody doesn't like. Or if you start thinking about how awful a person you used to be five years ago. Or if you feel worthless for putting off important work and failing to get simple tasks done. Or when you think about all of the different people who probably hate you or think you're off-putting. I understand those days. Just remember that the sun will shine again tomorrow. Those kinds of things are easy to forget and ignore as they are to remember. And besides, I don't care how many people might hate you or find you off-putting. I think you're wonderful and will always love you. I hope, if nothing else, that knowing that helps you feel just a teeny bit better about yourself. If you're having a bad day, you can always come to me and I'll talk to you for as long as you need. Shoe does. Shoe does, boo. <laughs> Best girl. Who else is going to give you just mm, good advice like that? We'll have to alt tab if you want to massacre her. Yes, we are. We're totally going to do this. I'm not really a fan. Are you skipping her dialogue? I'm trying to, it's not. Time to kill you. Seth, I'll let you do the... I mean, I'll get you there, but I will never kill Monica. Nah, I'm killing Monica. Because I love her. She's my... She's my everything. So I'm here killing Monica. <sighs> yep. Sorry, say goodbye to your girlfriend. <sighs> goodbye, my love. Just click back in on me. Dookie. To the right? No, wrong one. To the right, Over. to the right, that one. Darn right! Yep. What's happening? Dirk Softpack, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me. Dirk soft pack. Please hurry and help me. Help me. Did you do this to me? Darn Dirk right. Dirk soft pack. Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Yep. Everything. Yep. I loved you so much, Dirk Hardpeck. I trusted you. You trusted the wrong person. Did you just want to torture me? Nope, I want to delete you outright. Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? 
At first I liked you. But it's just not how things turned out. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. That's false. I hope you're happy. I saved everyone else. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Or find some other people to torture. Dirk Softback, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Goodbye, best girl. Ellipses, I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends, I did so many awful things, so many selfish and disgusting things. I, I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing <coughs> up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. I didn't delete you. Because I destroyed everything you wanted. How could I do this to someone I love? That's not love. That's Eclipses. I've made up my mind, Dirk Soft Peck. I know that I said I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find myself to do it, even though you keep skipping my lines, you son of a bitch. They're still my friends, and I love them all. And I love the Literature Club, too, Ellipses. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And I really love you. Ellipses. Then... <laughs> no longer reading anymore. Yeah. Hey, Dirk Softback. Well, oh. well. Oh, man, I don't even I don't know if I want to speak anymore. <laughs> the dialoguing this. You can skip yours if you want. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dirk Softback, are you proud of me? Yeah. For what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing this for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never said anything about it, even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. There she is, your childhood friend. There back. we go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're back. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Dirk Southpack, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I already told you I'm really not. I have to say what I always do. But I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? It's going to be the literature club. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. 
I timidly opened the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! <coughs> Dirk Sopek? What, what are you doing here? Well, I just, uh... Eh, uh, I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the Dirk Sopek that Sailor is always talking about. Th thanks for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Dirk Softpack. We're the Literature Club. Uh, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah. Sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. What working? Dirk Sopak, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayor Sayori's eyes light up. No way! No way! Ah! <laughs> Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! hey, hey. <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can be an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say! We have to celebrate! <laughs> what an appropriate day this is, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> Sorry! Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the chest, the closet. Still feeling awkward, <laughs> I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! What? <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats! The whiskers are drawn with yeah. icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs the first one, then I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full, and has already managed to get icing on her <laughs> face. I turn the cupcake around on my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess? <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Ah, uh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be my be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Dirk Hardpeck, what kinds of things do you like to read? Probably something with manga. Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. Yeah, manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking, or without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing <coughs> to me. And letting a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. 
She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her lies light up. <laughs> that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Uh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Club room. Don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Dirk Softpack wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Dirk Softpack? Maybe! Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. Wanna do programming? Then we'll all get to know each other a little better too. There's this great program I know called Monica. <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? Ellipses. Uh, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri... Uh huh? Uh, I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Uh, hurtful? Uh, I didn't realize. Ellipses. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude in finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you're, you'd do that for me, Yuri. Oh, I was getting along. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just, just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! <laughs> Sayori, shut up! I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes- I think like everyone likes you too, Dirk Softback! <laughs> you think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, Dirk Softback! Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing! Well, whatever. Uh, surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just, the, just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever! Now that you've joined, Every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Dirk Softback. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Oh, God. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. <laughs> You're right there, Newman. That's right. I knew... I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Dirk Softback. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. 
and you make me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever. Oh, her, eh, uh, her. You heard him. God. Who? It, it hurts. Ah! I'm sorry. I oh was wrong. Oh, God. Frickin' Monica. <laughs> There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Dirk Softpeck. Goodbye, Literature Club. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, I continue to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. 
a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my <coughs> friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. I wish you chose you. You were the chosen one! She was the best girl. She was. Something went horribly wrong. Cool. So that was Doki Doki Literature Club. That was pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> <coughs> that was pretty freaking uh, amazing, actually. And that wasn't even the true ending. No, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I... I wasn't expecting the part where it realized we were recording. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, oh, holy balls. I can't really do a trick. Ah, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs>